Hey there, everyone. It was Sal Cow playing a little known game called Mega Man X4. Now, after the loading signs, you have a choice. Mega Man, I forgot about these production values. <laughs> Press the start button. Um, so, hi. How hey there, everyone. Sal Cow starting a game. Uh, I forget if- okay, so this time we're gonna play as Zero. Has red armor, there's an option to have a black armor, but I'm all about the pure experience. Give a thumbs up behind your back. Is the start- like, I know that a lot of his cutscenes are completely different than X's- Oh yeah, it even starts differently, check it out! He's just resting in the VR simulation machine. Oh, hey, subtle. But who are you? After him, he is my nemesis. Our rivalry is what gives me motivation in life. Now go, destroy him. That's an order. Oof, the sound mixing. <laughs> wow. All right. So again, like this has never been meant to be a, a mystery then, right? Like the source of zero? Because this isn't exactly so- I don't know what's going on here. Robot blood is on your hand. What accent is that? Like, parrot? I guess there's nothing wrong with hiring a parrot for your- for your- for your PA system, but it's not what I would have expected. Uh, Alright, so we don't have the story about Rebel Force of Oz, this is that, yo, check it! Zero! We've got Robot Nightmares! Uh, Reploid Nightmares, I guess. Rebel Force? Okay! That's not his voice, but we can pretend. So, hey! Zero's gameplay is completely different. Check it out, he's got the swords! That button doesn't do anything. Like, does he... he has a menu, and it looks completely different. Still says ew, though. Check it out, that guy, he's got a shell, it's like... Oh, my robot, my laser blade! It can't go through your shell! And you got a really... can you combo if you're jumping? I don't know. So, yeah, his name is Zero, and he's here to say that lights are cool, and apparently this game is a lot harder. Which makes sense, because, you know, if you do not have the ability to just kind of stay back, you can just jump up there, you don't need to destroy those, you know, no cow. But it feels like the best. Alright, so that dinosaur dragon. Huh, so that's, that's kind of neat. You can't, you can't, you know, swift the rafters on a millimeter of dessert, it turns out. Good knowledge to have. Gonna cut you up, little buddy. Gotta cut up this bulldozer too. I'm not afraid of insects, so I'm not afraid of you. Check it. I'm full of Cheerios, robot dragon. Uh, dragoon. In the 14th unit. Why are you in the 14th unit, dragoon? This doesn't look good at all at all. <laughs> Oh no, that Maverick! Alright, there's a little, little be no more. Uh, you gotta tell the Maverick Center and destroy the entire city. Alright, so he's saving his actual truth tailing to X. You know, Zero, you don't care much for that guy. Let's escape together! Alright, Magma Dragoon, you're my best friend in the whole world. Skylake and Fells, it will be disastrous. Alright, it's going down by going up. Uh, that's how light works. Goes in a direction you think, but in reality, it's going the other way. I gotta talk more. The carnage is horrible. It's a matter of what pay for this. You know, I'm gonna go here? No? Alright. So yeah, it's gonna be the most same stages, but Zero having a sword and not a gun. Uh, the gameplay is gonna be fairly, very different. Just fairly, very though, not very, very, very. And uh, I'm curious to see how things go. And yeah, apparently it's significantly harder because you know, 
you don't have the power of dance with you. You only have the power of mulch, and like that's just not as attractive, it turns out. But no, I don't, I don't want to be critical or anything. It's just that's just how it is. Destroys those claws, just poking out of walls. That's what it is. So I don't think that Zero gets weapon powers. Like I think he gets like moves that you know gets uh, adapted to like controls and stuff. Whoa! There's a lady on the floor. Hey, Roll, how's it going? Oh, it's Iris. Whoa, what are you doing here? Where'd you get that second eyeball? Zero, did you come save me? Uh, well, I mean, not not on purpose, but by sure. How, how did how did I so? How did the Iris survive? And did she survive being on the Sky Garden and falling, or did she survive being underneath the Sky Garden and, and surviving? I don't really understand. I have to defeat him or else, though. That's true. All right, you keep on keeping on. I gotta fight the intro boss, and I'm not at full health. That flickery light there on what looked like a radio tower, maybe? I don't know. It's flashing. Oh, you got like... Whoa! You did not- Whoa! That's a lot of damage being done there. Alright. So, I mean, the good thing is that I don't have to charge weapons anymore. So I'm just gonna sit here and tank everything instead. Like, he did that big slasher thing, so I kept waiting for it to happen, but he just did it the once. If he would, like, actually slash all the time, this battle would have gone very differently. But it didn't! So it didn't. Oh man, can't wait to sword duel that guy. Zero looks real weird in that profile thing. Something about his neck. Also, don't look down on people, dude. Like, the hell are you doing? Don't antagonize pointlessly people. Oh, Iris' is sister, because robots have families. <laughs> I, reploy, like, I just... I don't get it. Like, at some point, like, what are they? I guess they're not really meant to be understood as being robots, so they're artificial people. But then, everyone looks really robotic. I mean, I guess that's not an issue, technically. I, I don't know, I feel like sometimes the universe, the game itself, kind of forget what's going on. It isn't helped by the fact that we, like, barely ever see any human ever. Like, there was Dr. Kane in, like, one Mega Man X2 cutscene. And we get astro projection of Dr. Light in capsule sometimes. It's like, dude, soldiers never drop their weapons. Peacetime is an illusion. Oh, <laughs> uh, hey, just repeating the same plot point here. So be it! We're idiots! prefer war over oh so you're not allowed to ever solve anything through diplomacy that explains that good guy Riplophores. war is always an option again like this isn't good colonel indeed uh, lots of mixed messages it's like they want to go for something deep but they're not willing to kind of really lean into it. They're not willing to like really invest into it. And I guess I'm saying data too. I don't want to lose all my zero data. My Mega Man zero data. I got a Mega Man that zero. This is the same cutscene, right? Like we don't need to re-see it. Can you skip it? Sweet mouth flap we have all been wrong thing there. Hey, it's General. He's on the building. It's like a building projection. Like, there everyone is very, very designed, though. Oh, than that. This is neither about insurrection I, nor rebellion his against voice doesn't match him at all. This is about like, he's giant. And, security. and he sounds like a janitor. Like, does having a chat survival. with you on his Together lunchtime suspiciously eyeing your bag of chips because he is quite suspect that you're not going to properly dispose of it in a bin. Yeah. But he's still, you know, trying to have pleasant conversation, and hoping it doesn't sentiment. seep through. Take heed, we have no <laughs> that is my evaluation of the voice acting with of, and of the general. Without fear, for we are the rebel force. We are the rebel force. Army in history. Yeah, we're peaceful. We're proud of our army. 
I don't know what that was. Oh yeah, Sigma's going, check it. <laughs> check it! You press a button, it just stops. I, I had to test it, I, so I pressed a button, and it stopped. Whoa! Double isn't there at all! Man, Iris's design is weird. She has a skirt embedded into her body. <laughs> Brother Colonel started the coup! Gonna race some cars for money! Please don't fight against. I, I'm not gonna have much say to that. Also, my torso is tiny. It's like the size of my forelegs. <laughs> but that's, you know, prime design for being a super fighting robot and all that. I mean, Wiley and Light are famous roboticists. They know what they're doing. I must go now! The planet needs me. The jungle! It's the same thing, right? Destroy a weapon. There was a laser in this room. The internet! Dive into the internet. To internet. Owls are evil. It will destroy you. Dragon's pretty cool because you can fight him in a robot. That guy is a manta ray. <laughs> Did you know that? Uh, mushroom's pretty rad and his level's pretty rad. It's pretty the story is pretty rad. And there was a train with lion on it. Watch out for Helmut Zudi! And this is this place here. This guy's got more teeth than a real... than a real walrus. Thumbs the facts. 